Hey everybody, it's Ali Flores again with OrlandoVacation.com where we're going to be giving you some tips and tricks on how to make your Orlando vacation so awesome. This episode is going to feature Disney World Guide for Couples. I know what you're thinking. Disney World for Couples? No, 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 no. Disney's for kids. Couples? Disney? Yes, I'm sure. Since Disney first opened, couples have been going together. And you're just in luck. I'm here to help give you some ideas on how you and your partner can enjoy your time together at the most magical place on earth. Now, do me a favor, click that subscribe button, hit that bell icon so you can get notified of new and helpful videos for planning your next Orlando vacation. Let's talk about resorts, specifically Disney resorts. Even if you're a local right here in the Sunshine State, staying at a Disney resort with your loved one can be an amazing and romantic experience for you both. Disney resorts offer an additional touch of magic that you're both sure to enjoy. Let's go over some of the top resorts for that special occasion. Some of the most enchanting resorts Disney has to offer. Grand Floridian, Animal Kingdom Lodge, Wilderness Lodge, Port Orleans, and the Polynesian Resort. Each resort at Disney offers its own theme, so it's important to know what you're looking for. Disney's Grand Floridian offers Victorian elegance with its romantic lobby and live orchestra, and is just one stop away from Magic Kingdom. The Animal Kingdom Lodge offers amazing rooms that overlook the savannah, home to giraffes just feet away from your room. Guests can stay in a cabin or go camping at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. Port Orleans evokes the romance of rural Louisiana as guests can choose to stay in either Riverside and French Quarter. Disney's Polynesian is themed to the South Pacific and has beautiful floating villas right on the water. Honestly, any of the Walt Disney World resorts would be a perfect place to stay when spending that special time with a loved one. Now that we've covered some of the best Disney World resorts, let's go over some of the great ideas for that perfect Disney date. First up, the Disney Skyliner. Have you ever been on the gondolas before? A magical experience that can only be made better when shared with a loved one. Try catching a trip at dusk for that spectacular and romantic view. The gondolas can hold up to 10 guests, but if you're lucky and catch it when it's slow, you might be able to snag one just for you. These cars don't have air conditioning, but they use a cross ventilation method to help keep guests cool inside the car so you and your loved one will be comfortable. Not only is this a great and romantic experience, it's also a great way to hop between the parks and resorts. Definitely something to consider doing if you haven't done it yet. Now, if the gondolas weren't romantic enough for you, get this, Disney has its own fireworks dessert party. Yeah, dine on delicious chocolate dipped strawberries and themed desserts by the pastry chef while watching Magic Kingdom's nighttime fireworks from atop the Tomorrowland Terrace. This is amazing. Yeah, yes, it's at an additional cost, so guests will need to reserve a spot ahead of time. Now, what's better than the fireworks dessert party, you might ask? Go ahead, ask it. Thank you. A fireworks cruise. Yeah, you heard me. Fireworks on the water. Guests can watch either Magic Kingdom or Epcot's fireworks on a private watercraft right from the water. Guests embark from either Contemporary, Polynesian, Grand Floridian, Fort Wilderness, or Disney's Yacht and Beach Club Resort, depending on which show they're going to see. So get this, say, I don't know, you're staying on site at one of the resorts we mentioned. You asked to go on a lovely nighttime walk on site. Hey, would you like to go on a lovely nighttime walk outside? Yes, I would love to. Good. Approach the marina where your 25 foot long private boat is and casually surprise your partner with a beautiful, soon to be firework lit boat ride. Yeah, you're welcome. High five, boom. If you're wanting something a little bit more cost friendly, there's always great spots both inside and outside the parks to catch fireworks. Whether you want to be up close and in the best spot possible for them, or if you're wanting to be a bit more secluded and watch them from afar, there's great alternatives that can be just as romantic without breaking the bank. Some places we recommend if you're wanting to view the fireworks outside the parks are going to be at Disney's Contemporary Resort, Polynesian Village Resort, Grand Floridian, and Boardwalk. These resorts offer great spots to view the fireworks, showing that you don't need to be in the park to be a part of the magic. Here's a little pro tip. The Polynesian Village actually has hammocks outside, so where you and your loved one can lay together underneath the night sky and watch the fireworks from Magic Kingdom. Just goes to show you that you can have the most romantic moments just about anywhere. Then, 
there's the Electrical Water Pageant, a beautiful nighttime parade. Guests can view this at the Polynesian, Grand Floridian, Wilderness Lodge, Fort Wilderness, or Contemporary Resort. The Electrical Water Pageant features electric sea creatures sailing across the Seven Seas Lagoon in a beautiful light display. Listen to classic Disney tunes during the floating parade and get swept up in nostalgia with your loved one. For a night, you'll both remember. Looking to be a little bit more involved? Disney has a couple different themed mini golf courses you and your loved one can compete in. Fantasia Gardens and Fairways located by the Swan and Dolphin Hotels or Winter Summerland by Disney's Blizzard Beach Water Park. All courses offer a great chance for couples to go head to head and are sure to make some great memories. While you're by the Swan and Dolphin Hotels, if you're staying on site, guests can actually rent one of the Swan paddle boats and enjoy a nice afternoon out on the water. This does only apply to guests staying on site, but it's a great opportunity for couples nonetheless. If you're having a nice Disney date night outside the parks, Disney Springs might be a great spot to make that night a little bit more memorable. Disney Springs is home to Aerofile, the world leader in balloon flight. Here, guests can board the world's largest hand-painted tethered helium balloon and fly to heights of 400 feet. Or perhaps you'd rather stay on land, or better yet, on water. What? Disney Springs is also home to the vintage Amphicar. Here, guests can cruise right into the water on a captain-guided tour of Lake Buena Vista. These cars have been fully restored and can drive on land and water. Take a lovely nighttime cruise with your loved one for a magical night. One of the best things about Disney is honestly, the food. Walt Disney World Resort has some amazing restaurants on property that can make any visit absolutely magical. If you're wanting a magical view of Cinderella's castle, combined with delicious food, California Grill at Disney's Contemporary Resort is where you want to be. This beautiful restaurant offers a three-course dining experience where guests can choose an appetizer, entree, and dessert. Time your reservation with Magic Kingdom and you can see a beautiful view of the fireworks from the 15th floor of the resort. Breathtaking. If you're in the mood for some phenomenal French and Italian cuisine, look no further than Topolino's Terrace, Flavors of the Riviera. This amazing restaurant offers a stunning rooftop view overlooking Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. Along with delicious food and amazing service, guests are able to walk out on the terrace as they wait for their meals and enjoy the view. Time it right and guests can view the fireworks from Epcot just before dessert. Arguably the most popular restaurant inside the Disney parks, Be Our Guest is located within Magic Kingdom and inside of Beast's Castle. This restaurant offers three different areas guests have the opportunity to dine in, ranging from the classic ballroom where Belle and Beast have their iconic dance, Sorry, that dance is so beautiful. Okay, the Rose Gallery or the Forbidden West Wing. If you're wanting something romantic, but a bit easier on the wallet, San Angel Inn Restaurante within the Mexican Pavilion at Epcot offers just that. This indoor restaurant offers a beautiful night themed atmosphere where you and your loved one can dine under the starry night sky next to the Mayan ruins. And don't limit yourself to just these restaurant options. There are so many different restaurants within Walt Disney World Resort. It doesn't have to be super fancy to be a great date night option for you both. Maybe your partner has a favorite restaurant on Disney property that brings back memories. Maybe they wanna to go to some random restaurant because it might be fun. Some of the best dates are those that are on a whim. All right, so let's go over some tips to make your date at Disney a magical one. First tip, plan ahead of time. This includes getting those dining reservations made, maybe purchasing matching Disney shirts or ears or anything you may want to make your trip the most magical. Anything custom is going to take some time to make and ship, so planning ahead of time will help. If you need help on snagging that dining reservation, we've included a link to another video of ours to help with just that. Check it out in the description. Done it. I also highly recommend purchasing Memory Maker for your trip to Disney. Having Memory Maker gives you access to all the photos you and your loved one take at Disney. Rides and magic shots included. If you're going to stay for a couple of days, you might want to look into the advanced purchase options as you can save up to $30. It's a great way to have some of those professional shots of your time together versus only having selfies. Get celebration buttons. Those are awesome. If you're celebrating something special, do that. You can grab these at guest services in the parks or at the front desk at the resort you're staying in if you're on site. These celebration buttons come with a blank space so the cast member can write just exactly what you're celebrating. 
Even if it's just celebrating each other. Aww. Just threw up in my mouth a little. That was way too sweet. It's the little things that make your trip that much more special. If you're staying at a hotel, tell them what you're celebrating. You may receive some of that special Disney magic. Mm. Consider getting magic bands for your Disney trip. You can order these online in advance or shop around once you get to Disney. You can use your magic band to link with your My Disney Experience account, allowing you to tap into the parks or tap to pay for things while shopping. Personally, I'd go for a matching set, but if you want, you know, to each stylize a bit differently, that works too, you know, whatever. These are also something you can use again and again in case you take future Disney trips. And finally, you're on vacation with your loved one. Take the time to enjoy that. If you both want to hit the parks early, great. But if you're wanting to enjoy the time you have together, try taking things a bit slow. Wake up a little later. Order a nice brunch in bed with room service. It doesn't get more romantic than this. All right, if you're looking for more tips and tricks for your next Orlando vacation or need help planning, be sure to check out our website at orlandovacation.com where we offer the best discounted prices and have a variety of blogs to help you make the most out of your Orlando vacation. All right, hopefully I'll see you on your date. Well, I mean, I'm not going to go on a date with you unless you want me to. I mean, I'm hungry. You know, I, I, go by yourself. Bye.